Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about body bias effect in MOS transistor. If you consider the structure of the MOS transistor, it will be like having a substrate. Suppose if you are taking a P MOS transistor, uh, sorry, N MOS transistor, then substrate is of P type. Source and drain regions are of n type so it is n plus region it is n plus region which are source and drain in between these two we are having gate material that is nothing but polysilicon with oxide layer this is the structure of A MOS transistor. Now, in order to bias this particular transistor, we are applying a substrate potential, nothing but VSP. Generally, the substrate and source are short circuited to each other. Okay, suppose if you are taking any MOS transistor on a mental graphics or CAD and stool, it will be showing the fourth terminal. Okay. See here, the fourth terminal is shown like this. It will be source, drain, and this is the gate. Normally, when you are taking a mass transistor in your circuit operations, you will consider the mass transistor like this without having any fourth terminal. Okay, this is gate, source, and drain. Okay, if you want to mention any arrow mark, that will be shown here. This is the symbolic representation of the general considerations of your mass transistor in any circuit operations. But when you are going into the mass, what is that, uh, tools like metal graphics or cadence or any type of uh, simulation tools, then the transistor will be having the fourth terminal. This fourth terminal is known as a substrate. This fourth terminal is known as substrate. Okay, under normal bias in conditions, that means if you do not want to disturb the threshold voltage, that means if you do not want to disturb the threshold voltage, this substrate and source are connected together, short circuited. Source and substrate, these two are short circuited. Substrate and source are short circuited. When you are short circuiting these two, that means you are operating with the normal threshold voltage without violating its operation. But if you want to change the threshold voltage, you have to apply some potential called VSB. Source to substrate voltage. Source to substrate voltage VSB we need to apply if at all if you want to change the threshold voltage. This is the concept now we are going to see. Okay. So threshold mass transistor is having a feature that is changeable threshold voltage. Mass transistor has a feature that is VTH can be varied. VTH can be varied in the mass transistor threshold voltage. That means when we can switch on the transistor at 1 volt or 1.2 volt or 1.5 volt that we can have a control on it with the voltage called VSB. But when you are going to take this bipolar Transistor that BJT has bipolar junction transistor has no such type of feature. Okay, whatever the transistor specifications that come with that comes with the, like V cutting voltage is 0.7 volts per silicon 0.7 or 0.8 and 0.2 or 0.3 for germanium. This is fixed for every for every transistor. But in mass transistor, unlike BJT, in mass transistor, we are having a feature called that is variable threshold voltage. We can change the threshold voltage on our 
requirement okay that is by using this substrate potential so when you are changing the substrate potential the concentration of the electrons and the holes in this substrate will vary so that the charge inversion which is taking place between this source and drain regions will be varying its potential okay so that the input voltage which is applying at this particular gate terminal which is applied at this particular gate terminal will be having changeable influence on this inversion layer so that the vth will vary okay so in normal conditions the source and substrate are short circuited suppose if you have worked on mentor graphics tool in your college you may observe this the fourth terminal is short circuited to source for any transistor either it is a pay type or n type transistor and if we want to change threshold voltage if we want to change threshold voltage then biasing supply is needed biasing supply is needed that is vsb vsb generally vsb is very low value okay for uh, suppose vdd is equal to 5 volts then we are taking vsb as 0.5 millivolts vsb as 0.5 millivolts it will be on the order of uh, millivolts only very very low value that's why in normal conditions we use it to neglect this vsb okay we will not include this vsb anywhere because we are assuming that vsb value is approximately zero and it is eliminated from the operations but if we want to change the threshold voltage then this vsb has an influence on that definitely we should consider that vsb in order to change the threshold voltage so that the operation of the transistor will be varied okay so if you see the threshold voltage equation we can say see our concept is body bias effect so the the body bias effect is nothing but changing the threshold voltage of the mass transistor is known as body bias effect okay so we can say body bias effect body bias effect occurs when a voltage vsb exists between the source and substrate or we can say bulk terminal source and substrate this is what i have explained so far so body bias effect occurs when we consider a voltage supply vsb between the source and substrate okay suppose if we do not give this source and substrate voltage vsb then this body bias effect is not there that means we are not concentrating on the changing of threshold voltage so that change in threshold voltage we are taking as vtn for nmos transistor if you take vt not which is the standard threshold voltage without having the effect of substrate bias voltage into gamma into 2 phi f plus vsb if it is n mass transistor vsbn this is all under root minus 2 phi f this is under root okay this is the equation of the threshold voltage with standard threshold voltage vt naught and as well as 
the change in substrate potential Vsb. Okay, here the gamma indicating the body bias coefficient where gamma is where gamma is the body bias coefficient with units of v power 1 by 2 with units of v power 1 by 2 and phi f is the bulk Fermi potential bulk Fermi potential ok that means for zero body bias threshold voltage if we say for zero body bias voltage for zero body bias voltage vt not vtn is equal to vt not n okay yet vsb is equal to zero at VSB is equal to 0. See, if you substitute VSB is equal to 0, simply what happens? 2, 2, uh, uh, 2, 5 F, it is under root, minus the same factor. So, these two get cancelled and this uh, coefficient, the coefficient of this gamma becomes 0. That is why it is 0. So, that VTN is equal to VT not N. Okay, this happens when VSB is equal to 0. Suppose if we are having a small amount of VSB, a small amount of VSB, even 0 0.1 millivolt, that 0 0.1 millivolt will also have influence on this uh, uh, coefficient of this gamma, so that some factor will be added to this threshold voltage. Okay, so we can write, so the coefficient can be written as, the coefficient gamma is equal to we can write it as 2 q epsilon silicon n by c ox okay so we know q is nothing but charge of the electron and epsilon silicon epsilon silicon is the relative permittivity relative permittivity of silicon and this is n a <coughs> NA is the acceptor doping concentration. Acceptor doping concentration. Q is charge of electron that we know charge of electron 1.6 1. 1. into 10 power minus 19 coulombs <coughs> and epsilon silicon. Epsilon silicon is relative relative permittivity relative permittivity here per material silicon and Na Na is nothing but acceptor concentration acceptor doping concentration in P type substrate P type substrate. Here we are taking N mass transistor. So P type substrate acceptor concentration. <coughs> okay. So this is what the body bias effect and its uh, coefficient. When we are taking the effect of the threshold voltage change on the characteristics of this uh, VGS versus IP, the characteristics will move forward. So when the effect of body bias on a mass transistor is considered for input side VI characteristics.
PA characteristics that is VGS versus VGS versus ID. They will be they will be see the characteristics how they are changing when we are having an effect of body bias on this transistor on x axis we are taking vgs and y axis we are taking sorry id y axis id so when there is no vsb potential simply vsb is equal to 0 this is the characteristic curve of this one okay when there is a change in the threshold voltage and applied some vsb then this is vsb which is having some 5 or 6 or 7 millivolts which is nothing but not equal to 0 we can say this is the change in threshold voltage we are representing it as delta vt okay so where delta vt is the change in threshold voltage change in threshold voltage okay so this is what the body bias effect that will affect the change in the threshold voltage. Thank you.